Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, Pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we celebrate the feast of St. Lawrence, deacon and martyr. Let us pray in this Mass that like St. Lawrence, we too may live a life of service, and we may always give witness to Christ in life and in death. Let us now be sorry for our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth, earth peace to people, people of goodwill. Good we, we praise you, we bless you, we adore you, you we glorify you, you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord, Lord God, God, Heavenly King, King O, o God, God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Christ only begotten God, Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of, Son of the, the Father, Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray.
O God, giver of that ardor of love for you, by which St. Lawrence was outstandingly faithful in service and glorious in martyrdom, grant that we may love what he He loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord, Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to The Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows bountifully. also reap bountifully. Each must do as already determined without sadness or compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Moreover, God is able to make every grace abundant for you, so that in all things, always having all you need, you may have an abundance for every good work. As it is written, He scatters abroad, He gives to the poor, His righteousness endures forever. The one who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will supply and multiply your seed and increase the harvest of your righteousness. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Blessed the man who fears the Lord, who greatly delights in his commands. His prosperity shall be mighty upon the earth. The upright generation shall be blessed. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Well for the man who is gracious and lends, who conducts his affairs with justice. He shall never be moved. The just one shall be in everlasting remembrance. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. An evil report he shall not fear. His heart is firm, trusting in the Lord. His heart is steadfast. He shall not fear till he looks down upon his foes. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Lavishly he gives to the poor. His generosity shall endure forever. His horn shall be exalted in glory. Blessed the man who is gracious and lends to those in need. Please all stand. Oh. 
Whoever follows me will not work in, walk in darkness, but will have the light of life, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. Whoever loves his life loses it, and whoever hates his life in this world will preserve it for eternal life. Whoever serves me must follow me, and where I am, there also will my servant be. The Father will honor whoever serves me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, the Church gives St. Lawrence, whose feast we celebrate today, two titles, Deacon and Martyr. St. Lawrence was a deacon of the Church of Rome during the 3rd century. And the word deacon comes from the Greek word diakonos, which is also from the word diakonia, which means service or a servant. And so to be a deacon is to serve. That is why Lawrence, as a deacon, was entrusted by the Pope, the Bishop of Rome, Pope Sixtus II, to take care not only of the treasures of the Church of Rome, but also of the poor people in their society. Lawrence spent his life serving the poor and those in need. St. Lawrence is also a martyr, and the word martyr also came from the Greek word martur, which means a witness. To be a martyr, therefore, is to give witness to Christ and to the faith, even to the point of shedding one's blood. You give witness to someone or to something, and you are so convinced to what you witness to that you are willing to put everything, even your life, at stake because of the truth that you believe in. St. Lawrence is a martyr because he offered his life in service of others and for the Lord. My dear brothers and sisters, being a deacon and a martyr has a common element, and that is to be a person for others. A deacon cannot truly be a deacon if he is not a person for others. 
and a martyr could not be a martyr if he is not a person for others. For how could one serve if he is just focused on himself? Service is always directed to others. Kapag ang isang tao ay nakatuon lamang sa kanyang sarili palagi, hindi siya tunay na naglilingkod. Ang nakapaglilingkod lamang ay yung kinakalimutan ang sarili para sa iba. And one could only be a martyr if one is willing to offer one's life. That means... I am thinking more of others than myself. Kung sarili ko lang ang iniisip ko, e bakit ko pahihirapan, sasaktan, at itataya ang buhay ko? Iingatan ko ang sarili ko. Pero kung ang iniisip ko ay ang aking kapwa, kaya kong ialay ang lahat para sa kanila. St. Lawrence is a deacon and martyr because he lived a life of service for others and he gave witness to Jesus even to the point of offering his life for the Christian faith. He lived and died for others and for the Lord. That is why the readings chosen on the Feast of St. Lawrence both talk about being persons for others. St. Paul in our first reading today talks of generosity. For service and martyrdom are about generosity, giving of oneself. And in the Gospel, Jesus talks about preserving one's life or giving it away. And He said that whoever follows Him must do what He does. Where He is, His servant should also be. And so if Jesus lived a life of service and martyrdom, then anyone who follows him must be willing to do, to do the same. My dear brothers and sisters, to be a Christian is to be a person for others. Do you live a life for others? Or do you live only for yourself? Sino ba ang mahalaga sa iyo? Ang sarili mo lamang? O kaya mong kalimutan ng sarili para sa kapwa? Today is the 90th birthday of our former Archbishop, Cardinal Gaudencio Rosales. And we thank the Lord for the gift of long life given to him. And we pray for him in this Mass that even in old age, he may continue to be a shining example of humility, of service, and of holiness. I remember when in one of our recollections, he shared to us priests that as a young priest, when he was still a young priest, there was one quotation that he placed on the mirror of his room to remind him always of his life as a priest. Isinulat daw niya sa isang maliit na papel at idinikit niya dun sa salamin para araw-araw tuwing siya'y mananalamin, maaalala niya ang isang mahalagang bahagi, ang mahalagang misyon 
ng kanyang buhay bilang pari. And what was on that piece of paper? It is this. If at the end of the day, I still find time for myself, it means I have not lived my priesthood well that day. And I think as I worked with Cardinal Rosales for seven years as his secretary, I saw how he faithfully lived those words. He lived a life of service. Kahit na pagod, kahit na matanda na siya noon, naglilingkod pa rin. Because for him, priesthood is about total service. And total service is martyrdom even without shedding one's blood. My dear brothers and sisters, if today you are tempted to think just of yourself, to preserve yourself, to put yourself first, kapag sa araw na ito mahuhuli mo ang sarili mo na nagiging madamot, na iniisip lang ang sarili, na inuuna lamang kung ano ang makakabuti sa akin, then let us ask the intercession of St. Lawrence. For if you live only for yourself, you do not truly live. But if you live for others, if you are generous, if you love, if you give, then you will have full fullness of life. Let us pray to St. Lawrence, deacon and martyr, that we too may live and die for others and for the Lord. Please all stand. As we celebrate the feast day of a great saint of the Church of Rome, mother of all churches, let us beseech our loving Father to grant the request we make together in prayer. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the deacons of the church may be zealous in their ministry of preaching the gospel by word and example, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That there may be enough Catholic volunteers to work for poor communities or nations. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may value and protect our poor as real treasures of the church. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may have fortitude in times of physical pain. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That our departed loved ones may enter into the promise of the eternal kingdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for our personal petitions. We remember the people who need our prayers and all the intentions offered in this Mass. Almighty God, through the intercession of St. Lawrence, your martyr, receive the intentions we bring in the name of your risen Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated.
please all stand pray brothers and sisters that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to god the almighty father may the lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church receive with favor o lord the offerings we joyfully make on the feast day of saint lawrence and grant that they become a help to our salvation through christ our lord amen The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for the blood of your blessed martyr, St. Lawrence, Poured out like Christ to glorify your name, shows forth your marvelous works, by which in our weakness you perfect your power, and on the feeble bestow strength to bear you witness through Christ our Lord. And so with the powers of heaven, we worship you constantly on earth, and before your majesty without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Sir, for as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep, in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god 
with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with St. Lawrence and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Please all stand. Let us pray. Nourished by these sacred gifts, we humbly implore you, Lord, that the homage of dutiful service which we render on the Feast of St. Lawrence may bring us an increase of your saving grace through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our weekly Wednesday evening Healing Rosary for the World tonight at 9 o'clock. Our Healing Rosary tonight will be hosted by the De La Salle College of St. Benilde community who will be celebrating their, the feast of their patron, St. Benilde Romanson, this coming Saturday, August 13. Pope Paul VI said that St. Benilde prayed all the time and the rosary beads never left his hand. Pope Paul VI called St. Benilde as the man with the holy rosary. Our rosary tonight will be quite different because we'll be praying it in the Lasallian tradition where an additional six decade is added in honor of the Immaculate Conception. And so we invite you to gather once again and together, let us implore the intercession of our Blessed Mother. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.